the Path by Tom McMurchie is a tile-laying game for 2-8 to eight players, ages 8 and up, that plays in about 15 minutes. The object is simple. Guide your Dragonstone along the path you create. You're not trying to go from one side of the board to the other. You simply want to stay on the board. The last player standing wins. To begin, place the Phoenix board in the center of the table. Place the Dragon tile on the table face down near the board. Shuffle the remaining 35 path tiles, then place the stack of path tiles face down on top of the dragon tile. Deal three tiles from the stack to each player. Players are free to look at their hand of tiles. Starting with the oldest player and continuing clockwise, each player chooses a dragon stone and places it on one of the hash marks on the edge of the board as their starting point. Now, players take turns consisting of three parts. First, play a path tile. The tile can be oriented in any direction, but it must be placed on the open square ahead of your dragonstone, extending your own path. Once a tile is played, it cannot be moved for the rest of the game. Second, move your dragonstone along the path you've created until you reach the end. This may mean that later in the game you will move across multiple tiles. Third, draw a new path tile so you have three in your hand. If you place a tile that extends both your path and the paths of other players, then you all must move to the ends of your respective paths. When a dragon stone's path causes it to exit the board, its owner is eliminated, and any tiles left in their hand are inserted face down in the draw pile above the dragon tile. You may not place a tile that will cause your own elimination unless you have no other choice. Should two dragon stones collide, both players are eliminated. If a player pulls the dragon tile, they deplete the draw pile. When new tiles become available because a player is eliminated, the first player to draw a tile is the one holding the dragon tile, instead of the current player. The dragon tile is then returned to the bottom of the draw pile when a new path tile is drawn. When only one dragon stone remains on the board, its owner wins the game. If the last dragon stones leave the board in the same turn, their owners tie for the win. For three or more players, you can play using an advanced elimination rule. If you place a tile and eliminate one or more opponents, you receive a reward. You may immediately exchange any of the tiles in your hand with the same number of tiles from the hands of the players you eliminated. Remaining tiles from the eliminated player's hands are then returned to the draw pile. Then, finish your turn by drawing a tile. Now you know how to play Suro, the game of the path. Thank you for watching. Thank you.